Welcome back to the channel. Today's issue is we got a little problem with some lights. I'm uh, driving down the road and my headlights start to dim. I hit the gas, they get bright, I let off, they dim out again. I don't know what the problem is. So I pull out the multimeter and I start testing and it turns out that my battery is not being charged properly. So that leads me to believe that the alternator is faulty. So today I'm going to end up showing you folks how to change the alternator on your 2G DSM and fix this lights get bright when you hit the gas and lights dim when you let off issue. So let's get jumping right into it and uh, we'll see how this goes. All right, so the first thing that we're going to want to do is disconnect our battery before we move on to anything. That'll keep us from getting shocked. Remember, we are messing with the charging system after all. Okay, so now that we've gotten our battery disconnected, we're going to need to take off our driver's side front wheel so we can access the inner wheel liner and get to the lower bolts that are on our alternator. So next you're going to want to take out these two clips here, little push rivets, and up underneath this lip right here and right here are going to be two 12 millimeter bolts. You have to take those two 12 millimeter bolts out and that will free up this inner wheel liner so you can gain access to your alternator. Okay, so now we can reach down in and disconnect the power going to the alternator. And we can also disconnect our tensioner bolt here and unplug this little gray plug down here. And one more bolt should free up this alternator. Okay, so once you get your power off, there's a ground that's connected down here on the bottom also you have to take off. And right above your oil filter, oil filter itself, there's another 12 millimeter nut. And that's the long bolt that goes through the whole bottom of your alternator. You're going to want to take that out. And I found that my ratcheting wrench was my best friend here. So once that's done, all you have to do is loosen that tensioning bolt right there and crack this 12 millimeter free here you look it is right there so I'm gonna pop that out and uh, see if I can get this thing to wiggle free okay so after wiggling this thing around a little bit the oil filter housing is really tight in there I think that my best option is going to be to disconnect the two 10 millimeters holding the AC fan on, slide it up out of the way after unplugging it right here, and once it's out of the way I should be able to turn it and lift it right past my dipstick. So we're going to try that next. Alright guys, so if you are careful, after removing your radiator fan, you can through some mild persuasion, work your alternator out of the top instead of disconnecting the two bolt, bolts from the oil filter housing. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if this method will work for everyone, but in my case, with all the wiring down below and the stripped bolt that's on my oil pump housing, I think that this is the best bet for me. Uh, drop some suggestions in the comments box below if uh, there's an easier way that you know of but this is what worked for me and right here is our old dead alternator so we're going to take this down to those demons at AutoZone and swap it out all right so after a very confusing interaction at the AutoZone we're back here with our new alternator and UPS just dropped off our next project so drop a comment down below and guess what that one's going to be so let's get throwing this thing back together. All 
all right now as you can see we've got the orange cap connected right here back over top of the power we've got the ground down below on that post and we've got the new plug hooked back up into our new alternator so now we're going to go underneath the car and reconnect that long bolt with the 10 millimeter nut right above the oil filter and from there we just got to put the belt back on tension it and throw our fan back in so again i'm going to speed this up and uh, we'll get through it quick So we have the alternator put back in, we have all the bolts back in, everything is tightened down. And I just wanted to show you the tensioning mechanism in here. Once you get it on, that nut, that 12 millimeter straight down, that's what you use to tension your belt on your alternator first. And then on the side over here is another 12 millimeter that you use to lock it in place. So you want to make sure that you get nice and tight belt deflection here. Uh, when you pull on it, I believe you're looking at a quarter inch or so of play back and forth to maybe a half inch. While I was doing this, if you look, there's a plug, I believe right there, it's part of your idiot light for your oil. The tabs on there are actually three quarters of the way snapped off and while trying to wiggle my alternator out, one of those snapped. Luckily those are a standard size butt connector. All I did was punch a hole through it with a drill so I could fit my screw through it to mount it back to the front. But that took a few extra minutes. Okay, so now everything is finished with the alternator. Everything's plugged back in. We've got a radiator fan put back in. All the connections are tightened back down. Uh, next step is going to be putting back our inner wheel liner. So we've got everything put back together, the car back down on the ground. We're going to reconnect our battery, try to give it a start, and see what she looks like. And then I'm going to test the battery terminals to see what my voltage is. Alright, lastly we're going to hop in the car, start it up, test the voltage, make sure everything's running correctly, we don't have any belt squeal, there's no check engine lights. And I believe we should be all set. All right, so the car started great. Didn't have any check engine lights on the dash. So now we're gonna check our voltage to our battery, see if it's actually charging. Before it was around 12.5, 11.9, now it should be up around 14. All right, I don't know if you guys can see that, but we're charging at 14.2 volts. That's it for today's video, how to change an alternator. It's kind of a kind of an interesting task on a 2G DSM. I didn't think it was gonna be as difficult. I haven't ever done one of these before, but like I showed you, popping out your driver's side radiator fan and slightly bending your dipstick for your oil about a quarter inch to a half inch out of the way gave me enough space to just slide it out the top and the front. Uh, if you know a better way of doing it, that's up to you. Hopefully this helps somebody out. I'm going to let this car charge up for a little bit, take it for a little test drive. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or got an idea for my next episode, throw a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay tuned for tomorrow's project, which should be an interesting one. I got a package from the uh, DSM community on Facebook.
couple of parts. So I want to give a shout out to those guys. We'll see you tomorrow.